Alright, so now I'll show you exploration. It'll enhance your abilities to spread your empire over the seas. Adopting exploration gives plus one movement for naval units and plus one sight for naval combat units. It'll unlock the building the Louvre, and that is something that is new to Brave New World. Previously, you didn't have to go down this social policy track, nor was there even an exploration social policy track to begin with. So now you'll need this if you're looking to build that wonder. And then adopting all policies allow you to see hidden antiquity sites. It also allows the purchase of great admirals with faith starting in the industrial era. Before I move on, I'm sure those that do not have Brave New World or just bought Brave New World and do not know of the changes, what is a hidden antiquity site? So essentially, if you go back or if you go further into my Brave New World guides, um, there's a whole video talking about archaeologists and hidden antiquity sites because they mesh together. Um, essentially, you need a archaeologist to dig up an antiquity site to get extra culture and tourism. That is essentially the basics of it, and that's what this policy does, because some are hidden and some are shown. And the only time you get to see the hidden ones is with this policy tree all filled out. And then maritime infrastructure will give you plus three production in all coastal cities. Naval tradition gives you plus one happiness for each harbor, seaport, or lighthouse. Merchant navy gives you plus one gold for each harbor, seaport, or lighthouse. A navigation school gives you a great general appears plus two movement for all great admirals. Great admirals are earned 25% faster and treasure fleets plus four gold from all of your sea trade routes. So essentially this is a sea bearing kind of um, policy. And even so, there's not many civilizations that do very well with this one. Um, the only thing that I would really recommend, civilizations that are really looking for culture, the Brave New World ones I'll talk about, um, a civilization that would do all right with this one. I would say Poland would, but Poland tends to be a little bit more inland, but if you're on the coast, this was not too bad if you're looking for a cultural victory with them. Um, and then, as far as Brave New World civilizations mixed in with this one, um, if I had to choose, I'd probably say, to an extent, Morocco would do well as well, but they're a little bit iffy as well. This social policy is very, very situational, but those that can benefit from it, say Poland, Morocco, probably another one or two, I just can't think of off the top of my head. For Brave New World, that is. There's many other civilizations that could benefit from it too that aren't in Brave New World. So please rate, subscribe, and comment. Those of you that are not watching this on Steam Guides, check out the description, and there's a link to my Steam Guide, so check out the link. There's tons of civilization guides and things that I have as well. And then those that are watching this on Steam Guides, please, please check out my um, YouTube channel and subscribe. I would love it if you did that. And then lastly, for the Exploration Social Policy Tree Track, you have to be in the medieval era in order to start that one up. And I'll just say that again. Medieval era for exploration. So please, thank you for uh, watching the video. I don't know why I said please. And then please check out the next video, which will be rationalism.